In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw an equilateral triangle and that each side of this triangle will equal three units. Afterwards, I'm going to calculate the area of my shape. To begin, I'm going to start with the line command. I'm going to click my first point here on the graphics area. For my second point, I'm going to use a relative coordinate. I'm going to use the at symbol. I want to type in 3 units on the X, comma 0 on the Y, and press enter. And then I'm going to press enter a second time to end the line command. Next, I'm going to go to my circle command and use the center radius option. I'm going to create a circle using the center point at the beginning of my line. Then next, I'm going to type in a radius of 3 and press enter. I'm going to go back to my center radius option, click the end of my line, and again create another 3 unit radius circle. At this time, I'm going to go back to my line command. I'm going to start at my ending at the beginning of my line and go straight to the intersection of where the two circles meet and I want to come right back down to the end of my line. At this time I'm going to press enter to end the line command. The circles that were created initially are now no useful anymore so I want to delete both of them so I'm going to select both and hit the delete. Next I need to use the join command. The join command is found in the modify section where you have the two arrows that are pointing towards each other. I'm going to select that icon and next I'm going to select all three lines of the triangle and press enter. That will make it one complete polyline shape. To verify that my shape is correct I want to use the align command for uh, creating a dimension and I'm going to click the top quarter down to my starting point and as you can see I have a line that's three units. To verify the other side click top quarter bottom quarter and there's three units there. To calculate my area I'm going to select the triangle I'm going to right click and go to properties. Here in my property section I can calculate the area at 3.8971. This concludes this video.